What's up everybody, it is Juan from The Refined Gent. So, in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about why you ended up in the friend zone. All right, now this is a continuance of the previous video that I made on um, what being friend zone look like. If you uh, missed that video, it's linked down in the description. So, if that sounds interesting to you, let's get right to it. So the very first reason why you ended up in the friend zone is you didn't stimulate her mind. Now guys, the thing is, uh, men and women were very different when it comes to attraction and sex and things like that. And women, a lot of their attraction comes from up here. All right, you don't always have to be the the tall, handsome, muscular dude that, you know, it's like the uh, the top alpha dog for, for girls to actually wanna be with. I'm not saying it's, it's a bad thing. I'm not saying it doesn't disqualify you. Obviously girls do like that, but a guy that actually has has a good attitude and actually knows how to get girls even just if he's a short skinny or even fat dude it can happen all right and if you don't stimulate a girl's mind which is pretty much the main sex organ for women believe it or not um, if you don't um, if you don't get her to think about you if you're if you're not a little bit bold and daring uh, you're not gonna get the girl really and a lot of times the reason why you see even guys that they have money they have they have looks, they have all these different things, and yet they constantly get friends on it. It's because they don't really have good conversations with girls. They don't really know how to keep a conversation going. They're not interesting. They're, they're actually kind of boring and bland. And a lot of girls say like most dudes are really boring and they're not interesting. Um, and that's why they get friend zoned. Now, the second reason why you got friend zone is because you're way too nice and too available. Now, I get it, a lot of us get told, just be a nice person, don't be an asshole, don't be a dick, don't be this, don't be this, don't be this, and that's totally fine. I'm not saying I'm not saying be an asshole, I'm not saying be a dick, all right? But if you're too nice, if you're too available to her, if you're always behind her, basically like, oh, anything you need, you know, whatever you say, blah, blah, if you put yourself in a subservient position, she is gonna lose attraction to you very, very, very quickly, okay? So have your own life, have your own hobbies. Okay, do not abandon your hobbies for her, okay? Um, if you like to go out with your friends and, and go out for beers or play sports or whatever, don't give that up just for her. I'm not saying you have to, I'm not saying that you shouldn't give up every now and then, but, because uh, it's all about a compromise, but basically guys, you need to have your own life because if you're always behind a girl and she can basically sense that, well, one, she has the upper hand and two, that, now you just have no life outside of her. It's gonna it's gonna diminish attraction quicker than anything, All right? So don't be so nice all the time, okay? Just have your own life, be assertive, and you know basically just be your own man. All right, third, um, kind of leading on the previous one, you put her on a pedestal. All right, a lot of us guys are guilty of this. Uh, you know, we see a pretty girl, especially on social media and things like that, and we you know guys are always commenting. All you gotta do, look at a pretty girl, even if she's a pretty average looking girl, okay? And see all the comments that she has. And I'm telling you, you would see how many dudes are complete simps, okay? Most dudes, you see that they, they comment, they're like, oh, you're so beautiful, you're perfect, you're this, you're this, you're this, you're this. Uh, and they put girls on a pedestal. And the thing is, you may think that this might be a, a way to get her because it, it shows you appreciate her, but if you're not even intimate with her yet, if you're not even, if, if, if you haven't even expressed too much interest in her, or she hasn't even expressed any interest in you, which is even worse, okay? Don't put her on a pedestal. Um, that gives her the upper hand, and on top of that, like I said, it's just girls don't really like that, all right? Girls like it when you're your own man, and when you um, just have your own life, and, and you're put together, okay? Also, uh, one thing I read in this book called uh, How to Be the 3% Man by Corey Wayne, all right, he basically talks about how, yes, Obviously, you wanna you wanna let her know that you're interested, but you don't want to put all your cards out there. Okay, um, you know a lot of girls don't like full, complete disclosure because it kind of takes away the whole mystery behind it. And really, mystery is something that both men and women find very sexy in each other. All right, fourth. All right, you were not clear about what you wanted, and you waited too long. Now, this is something I've been guilty of many, many, many times. Okay, and one thing you want to do is you don't want to obviously put all your cards out there from the very get-go, okay? But 
you what you do not want is for you to be too ambiguous and a girl's like okay well i don't know what he's about okay if you've already asked her out if you've, if you've already been on a date with her three four different times and nothing's happened um she obviously is like okay well i don't know where he stands and if, especially if she's a pretty girl and she's got options she's probably gonna go to somebody else okay and also like i said guys you don't want to wait too long um you know especially nowadays it's kind of a numbers game um people are dating left to right and people are exploring different options and if you wait too long you're just gonna lose your chance as the saying goes you snooze you lose so that's no different when it comes to girls all right fifth she perceives you as a beta male all right if you don't know the difference between an alpha and a beta basically an alpha is more dominant he's sure of himself he, he gets things done a beta is very subservient he basically always follows her lead and he doesn't he, he never leads um not sure of himself he's unconfident that's very much a beta male um and you see that the majority of dudes really are beta males okay if a girl perceives you as a beta male she doesn't perceive you as a guy that's dominant and that can, and that can actually get things done she's most likely gonna friend zone you okay now I know that kind of like attitudes are changing and women are rising up and things like that, but let's be honest, the majority of women like men that are dominant. I'm not saying domineering, all right? Domineering, dominant are two completely different things. However, if you're a dude that you're sure of yourself, you're, you're a dominant guy, you're more alpha mind, you have a more alpha mindset, girls are much less likely to friends on you than a guy that's a beta male. All right, six, she's unattracted to you. All right, and it could be for any reason. All right, sometimes you're you can just be too short, or you could be just not her type, all right, or you're just not her personality. There's nothing wrong with that, guys. Honestly, um, to me, one thing that I learned is just to brush it off. All right, you're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, and that's okay. All right, uh, sometimes we're when one door closes, another one opens. All right, I've met many girls that I was into them, but they weren't into me, and actually, it was probably the best thing that could have happened because I would have never met some of the other girls that I that I've dated. Um, um, and really guys, um, in my personal opinion, you just have to take a look at what you can control and what you cannot control, all right? Some girls are gonna like you and some girls are not. Some girls, when they don't like you, it's for some really stupid reason and you know what? You're just better off without them, all right? So if a girl's like, well, I don't like you because you're too short or you don't make enough money, all right, cool, whatever. Just brush her off to the side. She wasn't worth your time anyway, okay? Um, there are many ways you can fix attraction, all right? Which things that I'll talk about in, in this channel, um, things that you can wear to, to accentuate your body, to, to make it look better, make it look more masculine, which is what girls like. But overall, guys, don't uh don't fret on it too much if a girl doesn't like you just brush it off all right there's many others all right one mindset that i want you guys to have is the the mindset of abundance all right so basically what does that mean all right there's other fish in the sea if you're too focused on one girl you have basically what's called one itis all right that is not good for you and it's just going to make it harder for you to move on in life all right last and certainly not least sometimes she just doesn't want to date anybody all right maybe she just got out of a relationship maybe she's not in the place where she wants to be um as a as a as a person maybe as a professional whatever the case might be maybe she's in the middle of school and she just doesn't want distractions whatever the case is all right and to be honest with you guys sometimes you just got to give girls uh, some room you know and sometimes if a girl tells you that look i'm just not ready to date anybody you know i just got out of a relationship whatever i'm not mentally ready you know i commend her for that because the reality is guys um you don't want to be a rebound you don't want to be a, a just a crutch for her to 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 lean on you know for, for emotional support all right if she's a, is truly a strong independent and mentally strong woman all right she's gonna tell you what, what she really wants and sometimes guys you know they're just not into it they're just not they just don't want to date anybody and that's perfectly fine all right use that time to work on yourself or just move on to the next one doesn't matter all right but basically guys, if she friends on you because of the fact that she just doesn't want to date anybody, don't take it personal, okay? It happens to everybody. All right guys, that is it for today. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Did I miss anything? Is there anything you might add? Um, share the video with anybody that might find it useful. Uh, hit me with one of these. All right guys, that is it for today. See you next time.